All right, showing Weebless monitor mount. Yes, today we're talking monitors on your Weebless. But this also applies for the Crane 2 Lab because they have the exact same mounting point. So why is it so beneficial for you to have a, a monitor on your Weebless? And how do you attach this in the best way? Today we're looking at two monitor mounts from Smallrig that are super great. I also have a couple of tips of how you shoot with a monitor on your gimbal to get the best results. So let's dive into this video and see how it goes. Here we go. So before we start, I'll just say a big thanks to all of you guys who subscribe to this channel. It is highly appreciated. And it is mind-blowing that we are just turning wheels on 2,000 subscribers in this community. So uh, if you're new here, of course, remember to subscribe and hit the little bell to get notified when I upload a new video. So let's take a look at these two mounts from Smallwig. The EVF monitor mount, which is right here, and the small rig Magic arm, universal magic arm, which is this one. They are two different mounts. This one is very expensive. This one is super cheap. I always carry both of them in my backpack just in case this one breaks or something goes wrong with it. I always have this one as a spare in my backpack. But they attach to the exact same point on the gimbal, which is right here. Um, and the monitor will be sitting nearly the same place. So, if you want the EVF mount, which is this one, there's a couple of components going into it. There's the um, swivel mount, monitor mount on top of it. And you will also need a NATO rail, which is on the side of the gimbal. All you do is you attach this one to the quarter 20 screw, which is here with the Ari reset on it. And then you slide the, uh, the EVF mount on here. There we go. So now you got this attached, then you'll take a monitor. The monitor that I use is the small HD focus, five inch screen, which just goes right on top there. And then I can slide this one in and out. I can turn it in any angle to the side as well. I can also turn the whole arm up and down here. Oh, that's the camera. And then we just have to attach the HDMI cord to the camera and it is ready. So that is how you attach the monitor with the EF, EVF mount, I think it's called, um, from Small Rig. It is robust, it is great, I love it. And let me show you a couple of benefits that you get from having the monitor right here. So the first benefit you'll get is, of course, you'll get a larger screen, so you can see everything when you're shooting. But as soon as you put your gimbal into low mode, you will not be able to see the screen. So you see, as soon as I lower the gimbal here, I cannot see the screen anymore, but having the monitor up here, I can see everything uh, when I'm shooting and using the gimbal. So add a screen and you will always be able to see it no matter how you're shooting. So the next mode is going up high and you can use a extension rod like this carbon fiber here or you can take the shoe-in uh, monopod tripod thing they have which is really great to get some really high shots uh, up in the air and again the benefit is as soon as you take uh, your gimbal and put it up in the air you will not be able to see the screen because it will be high up but you can adjust the angle of the monitor and still be seeing um, everything on the screen while you are shooting so again this screen just saves the day uh, when it comes to visibility on your gimbal the next mode is of course the vortex mode where you take the gimbal put in pov one more time, double click, and it goes into vortex mode. As soon as you start rotating the, uh, the gimbal, 
you cannot see anything and the monitor will be turning with the camera but having the screen right up here you can see everything uh, while you are using the gimbal in the vortex mode so I highly encourage you to get the monitor mount and a monitor for your gimbal uh, because it is just much easier to use the gimbal you can dial in the uh, exposure and focus everything just makes it much more enjoyable using a gimbal all right let's take a look at the universal magic arm from small rig let's get this away so you take the small magic arm and put it in the screw right there and tighten it there we go then you'll take the monitor using the small sd again and the small sd has three mounting points one in the bottom one in the side and one in the top use the side mount switch this on so now it is on attach the hdmi so as you can see the monitor actually sits nearly in the same place as the um, the EVF mount and it can do the same you can turn it you can open this one and put it in any direction you want but it is not as heavy duty as the EVF mount so if you have a bigger screen or a, a heavier screen with double batteries or something like that this mount is probably not the one that's gonna go uh, do it for you because it's not as robust and it can't take as much payload as the EVF mount can but I always carry both of them in a backpack so in case one goes down I have the other one to use as a spare but it's a great option if you have a light screen like the small HD focus or something lighter uh, this one is great you can see I can use it in any direction I want I can turn it uh, I can adjust it uh, as I want on the go so a great option if you're looking for a simple and cheap solution the small rig universal magic arm is probably the one you're gonna go with um, for your setup so what is the price difference between the EVF mount and the small magic arm right down here the magic arm you will get for you will get a set of two for about eight bucks on Amazon and the EVF mount with the all the components you need you will have to spend 138 bucks so a huge difference in these two but this one is the big and robust one and this is the small and light version which can't take that much payload as the other one all right so guys that is it that is how you use a monitor with your Weeble S and if you're interested in more Weeble S videos I have a full series of hacks tutorials how to set it up and on and on and on so I will link some of the videos down here so you can go back and see them. And of course, if you're new here, remember to subscribe and hit the little bell to get notified when I upload a new video. So as always, I will see you guys back here next time. Thank you.